Now with coverage you can count on, you're watching Sports Extra. The 0-2. Fly ball in the air. Left center field. That ball is hit well. Garcia going back. And that ball is gone. A home run. And we are tied at two. The Jose Valverde experiment is over with. For now. The Tigers designate the relief pitcher for assignment. Now, if he clears waivers, which he should, then he will have three days to accept being sent to AAA Toledo. And if he refuses, then he'll be released. But all indications point toward Valverde joining Toledo soon. And if he pitches well down there, he may be back with the Tigers later this season. Dave Dombrowski and Jim Leland basically told reporters today that they feel like Valverde's problems can be fixed. But I am sure they hope, like we do, that somebody else emerges from the bullpen and takes hold of the closer role. Valverde has allowed six home runs in the last seven and one-third innings that he's pitched. I asked you all on my WNEM Jason Fielder Facebook page, uh, if Valverde improves, should he be back with the Tigers? And Ben says two seasons ago he was lights out. If Jose can bring it together, he could still be a formidable closer. Greg responds to Ben, he needs to go, Ben. He's cost our team enough. Two years ago, I was thin. Now I'm fat. Things change. I love it, Greg. Tigers also placed Matt Tuiasasopo on the DL and recall Avisail Garcia to take his place. Detroit hosting Boston tonight. Doug Fister giving up a two-run double to Jacoby Ellsbury. Makes it 4-1. Next batter, Shane Victorino off Infante's glove into center. Another pair across the plate. Victorino, four for five with five RBI. In the fifth, Tigers down four, make it one. Miguel Cabrera with a three-run homer, his 20th of the season. Miggy also with four hits tonight, fifth time he's done that this season. But the Red Sox would tack on four more against the Tigers' bullpen, and they go on to win it 10-6. to six. Brisk wind blowing out to left at Dow Diamond as the Loons host the West Michigan Whitecaps. And that fan is dancing to run DMCs. It's tricky. You know, it's tricky. She got down for longer than that, but I didn't have time to show you everything on TV. Robbie Garvey on third after tripling to lead off the game. Tries to steal home, and he would draw a balk on the pitcher. He probably would have been safe anyways. That makes it one nothing. Couple batters later, Corey Seeger with one on. Two run shot. He would add one more and finish with six RBI as the Loons go on to win 9-7. It's Razor Shine's 600th victory as a minor league manager. Well, fair or not, since he's come into the NBA, LeBron James has been compared to Michael Jordan. Jordan is widely considered to be the greatest basketball player of all time. But when you compare what LeBron has accomplished at age 28 versus what Jordan did by age 28, LeBron has the edge. He has two more MVPs one more championship, and one more finals MVP. Of course, James has two more seasons under his belt than Jordan did at 28, but you get the point. James is on pace to be the best ever. You know, the saying hard work pays off was a true testament of what happened tonight. And I know I'm not the only one that works hard, but to be able to put in the work that I've put in uh, since I got out of the cave, like you said, after that Dallas um, series, and for it to pay off like this, it's the ultimate. Makes you, it makes you uh, want to work even harder. But I guarantee myself I'll take more than two and a half weeks off <laughs> this offseason. I need it. Lots got to happen. But I know. So much has to happen. He's got to win at least four more times. Who would have thought that he'd win back-to-back? -back? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Could have been three in a row, you know. Jason, thank you.